just explain to the electorate, the viewer, the layman, what happens in the name of lobbying, especially with the voting. So we are hearing about there will be a first round and we're not expecting that there will be a you know, two-thirds majority in terms of the voting outcome okay. and then there will be a second round. Yes. So what will happen, practically speaking? So people will go and it's a secret uh, vote, but uh, the numbers will speak. Then what? What happens in between? I th a lot of usually entails many, 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 many facets. One is, um, I mean, you... I know you are... In the 10th parliament, we are lobbying for Speaker Oleg Aparo, and uh, I was actually his proposer. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Speaker Marenda approached me, I said, uh, my vote is already taken. Uh, and then we expected the Maasai members to, to support us. Yes. Uh, so we are assured of the numbers in terms of the community. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, uh, they were into ODM, they were busted to KCB Center and brought in a bus just for purposes of voting. So you can hold them up, <laughs> you can approach them as a community, yes. uh, you can uh, approach them as friends, because some, uh, especially in the previous parliament, so most, um, you'll, you'll, you would be surprised actually across the, the political divide, mm -hmm. there are friends who went to the same schools and all this kind of thing. So mm -hmm. some of those things <coughs> are there and somebody will say, and there are people also who believe in, in others, I mean. Mm -hmm. Uh, like for me, when we were voting for Speaker Kaparo at that time, I was very sure uh, you, you could not you could not do anything to persuade me yes. from uh, supporting him. So there are many things that to go into. So between how do numbers change between the first round of voting and the second round of voting in case it plays out? What happens now <coughs> is that uh, you have the first round of voting. Mm -hmm. uh, according to the standing orders, if you secure three quarters, then that's the end of the story. But that usually doesn't happen because most, most of the candidates will have their supporters. And so in the second uh, round, it will be the, f the top two. So if you had already number three, number four, they yes. will already be out. So whoever supported those, uh, the other numbers will now have to decide where do we go? Do we support number one or support number two? Mm -hmm. So that is now how you will progress. Then if there is absolutely no uh, candidate to get the three quarters, of course now it will be in the sec that second round, the one who gets the simple majority. That is the one you can borrow from uh, the yes. presidential vote, 50 plus one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I mean, thank you for correcting me there. I did say two thirds majorities, three quarters mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the uh, numbers that you're meant to get in the vote for you to have a definitive outcome on this. Uh,